We're at Visual Eyes Optometry, and Dr. Carmen Rexiedler is an optometrist that we're going to chat with today. Um, let's talk a little bit about the importance of eye exams when it comes to our overall health. Absolutely. There's so much we can see in the eye, and the eye is actually the only place in the body where we can look directly at the vessels. And it's here, looking at the vessels, that we can examine them for bleeding or blockages. And these are really important signs of diabetes, high blood pressure, or cholesterol. Very interesting. So is there something that we would notice um, in our vision, like a change in vision that might be a bit of a sign? So not necessarily. Many of these changes don't cause changes to our vision, and that's why it's so important to get checked regularly. We use a microscope called a slit lamp, and that allows us to examine the different structures of the eye, and we can find some really important findings. So in the cornea, we can look for deposits in the cornea, and that can be a sign of high cholesterol, especially if we see that in someone under the age of 40. We can also look for inflammation in the eye, and that can be a sign of uveitis, which is often associated associated with underlying um, inflammatory or autoimmune conditions. We look at the nerve in the back of the eye, and that's actually an extension of our brain. And here we're looking for swelling, and that's a really a critical finding. All right. Um, any other things through, you know, looking into the brain almost that you're able to detect then? So, yes, actually, we also do a test called a field of vision. And this is analyzing not just how wide our field of vision is, but we look for patterns of vision loss and we're really testing the visual pathway through the brain. And so here, patterns of vision loss may identify a stroke or even a brain tumor. Wow, and these are obviously things that we want to stay on top of. And again, how you mentioned, you might not be able to tell necessarily by what it is that you're seeing, which kind of brings us back to the importance of regular eye exams, right? Any other things that we can do to make sure that we're staying on top of our vision? So we do recommend yearly eye exams for children and seniors. And adults should be seen every two years, even if you're not having a change or visual symptoms, just to do the overall health assessment. Um, and there's many connections also that we're able to pick up on that um, if you're noticing a change in your eye muscles or eyelids, we certainly want these to be brought to the attention of an optometrist because let's say an eyelid becomes weaker and starts to fall or the eye muscles become um, limited in their range. This could be the first sign of something like multiple sclerosis or myasthenia gravis. Wow, all things that, I mean, would sound terrifying, right? But then you want to catch them early because you can actually do some preventative care then by staying on top of this, right? Exactly. So if you don't have an optometrist, please find an optometrist at optometrist.mb.ca. Stay on top of those regular eye exams. Thanks so much for the chat. Thank you.